Good morning, students. Welcome to the third video of uh, sequence. Okay, as I promised that in O level exams, uh, you have a very tricky question always asked. I gave you this this uh, example of this one. Okay, I'll just show you uh, which one is the trickiest math. Okay, and where students most of the time make mistakes. Now it says complete the following table. You, you may have table or you may have some questions written A, B, C or one, two, three, four Roman letters. Okay, things like that. Okay, how to do this thing? All right, let's go one by one. The first one is two, five, eight, eleven, and it says next two terms. So we're gonna first check if this is a, a first. Uh, we have first difference is common or not. So 5 minus 2, that's going to be positive 3. 8 minus 5 is positive 3. So we are okay. 11 minus 8 is positive 3. So next one is going to be 11 plus 3. That's going to be 14. And 14 plus 3, that's going to be 17. Okay, so I got next two terms. And nth term in my last video, let me just finish this one. Okay, and then this is going to be plus 3. That's going to be 17. And t nth term, I told you that the common difference, whatever the common difference is, take it and multiply by n. And to uh, uh, make this one equal to 2, what do you need to add or subtract? Because n, first term for n is 1. So 3 times 1 is 3. I have to subtract 1 to make it 2. So it's minus 1. That's my nth term. So nth term is 3n minus 1. So the first part is done. Now, second one, that's 1, 3, 9, 27. You should, uh, well, pro probably you can, you can figure it out at a glance that these are multiple of 3. See that 3, 3 is a 9, 9, 3 is a 27, 27, 3 is a, but problem is 1, okay? So, let's see. 1 times 3, 1 times 3, I got 3, 3 times 3. I got 9, 9 times 3, I got 27, so that must be 27 times 3, it should be 81, but let me try that, 27 times 3 is 81, then times 3, times 3, that should be 243, so I got next two terms, so next two terms should be 81, 81 and 243, what about the nth term? In my last video, sequence two, I did show you how to find out geometric progression or geometric sequence. Okay, the formula was A R N minus one. Okay, so let's follow that one. T N is A R to the power N minus one. So here A is one, the first term is one. Now R is gonna be three, the common ratio, and N minus one. So any number is multiplied by one is the number itself so it's going to be 3 to the power n minus 1 let's try that n we always going to start from 1 so 1 minus 1 is 0 3 to the power 0 equal to 1 so that's 1 if n equal to 2 2 minus 1 is 1 3 to the power 1 is 3 if n equal to 3 3 minus 1 is 2 3 to the power 2 is 9 so that's the nth term 3 to the power n minus 1 that one is done okay next one is 43 43, 38, 43, 38, 38, then 33, 28, 33, 28. Again, we're going to try this. Okay, this minus that. So 38 minus 43, and that's going to give me minus 5. I'll try with the next one. 33 minus 38, that also minus 5. I, I'm hoping this is going to be minus 5 again. 28 minus 33, that's minus 5. Very good. Now, the next one is going to be minus 5. So, 28 minus 5, that's going to give me 23. And then again, two terms. So, minus 5 again. 23 minus 5, that's going to be 18. So, I can write down, next two terms are 23 and 18. Now, I'm going to go for the nth term is is exactly like the first one so tn the nth term should be common difference is 5 so 5n now with 5n 
what do I need to add? What do I need to add to get the first term 43? Now, n equal to 1. So, this is minus 5. So, this thing, question mark, will stay on this side equal to 43. When I transpose to that one, this is negative, going to be positive. So, 43 plus 5, that's going to be 48. Okay, so this over here is going to be 48. Now, check that 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 times is 18. So, I'm going to put minus 5 times 6 plus 48. So, that's 18, that's 18. So, we are okay. So, tnth term is going to be minus 5n plus 48. Pretty good. Now, we are coming to this one. 42, 35, 24, 1. So, 42... 35, 24, and 1. Then what are the next two terms? Okay. Now again we're gonna we're gonna subtract 42 from 35. So over here I got minus 7. Then 24 minus 35. I got minus 11. Then 1 1 1 minus 24. I got minus 23. Oh, I got some bad feelings about this. So it doesn't look pretty, okay? Now, let's see. If it doesn't uh, give me the common difference, then always we can try for the second turn, second times, okay? Such as this one. Uh, this, uh, where am I? Okay, it's uh, right over here. If first uh, time it doesn't give me any common difference, I'll go for the second one. Probably it's gonna go give me something. So minus 11, minus minus plus 7, that's going to be minus 4. And then minus 23, minus minus plus 11, minus 12. Hmm. It doesn't show me the common difference. So I have a problem. When you are having this, if you look closely, if you try to find out a common difference or a pattern to realize what formula it falls into, if you cannot find it, then you have to go to this table and you compare with other sequences, okay? You can see something or not. If you can find some pattern with other sequences or not. See, the first term is 42. I have 43 over here. This is 43, okay? This is 43. And look at this one up there. It's 1. So 43 minus 1, that's going to give me 42. So I find some, some, some link here. So what about 38 minus 3? Is it 35? 38, 38 minus 3. Yeah, this is 35. Then I'll, I'll go for the second one. 24, uh, sorry, 33 minus 9. That's going to be 24. And 28 minus 27 is 1. So we got it. Okay. Since we got this, it might not be the pretty obvious, the uh, previous, the upper one. It can be with this one. It's It uh, can be addition. It can be multiplication. It can be so many things. So you have to spend a little more time on this. Okay. In O-level exams, for one minute questions, you are getting 90 seconds. That means one, one more question, you're going to get 90 seconds. 90 seconds is one minute 30 seconds. Okay, so one and a half minutes. Now there are some of the sums like simplification, uh, reduce into smaller fraction. You can do it, do them in 10 seconds. Now this type of math, probably you're going to need more time than the time assigned to you. Okay, so this is one of that, um, that type of math. Okay, now you don't need to do anything. Just see that this minus that gives you this. So this minus that will give you this. So 23 minus 81 that's gonna be minus 58 so that's gonna be minus 58 and 18 minus 243 18 minus 243 that's gonna give you minus 225 for nth term don't sweat okay don't put too much pressure on that i already have this is nth term and this is nth term so this minus that that gives you this minus this so well, all you need to do minus 5n plus 48 plus 3 to the power n minus 1. Okay, that's the that's the nth term for this one. You can try that. This is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5 terms over here. So minus 5 times 5 plus 48 plus 3 to the power 5 minus 1 is 4. 
So that's four. That's going to give you, ooh, I did something wrong. The reason is this minus that. This is supposed to be minus. Okay. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to just change this sign to minus. And then it should be minus 58. Okay. So that's what it is. I hope you understand. I explain all the sequences math that comes in O level exams. And uh, in my next video, I'll, I'll show some examples from the question paper. Okay. Thank you. Have a good day.